If you send your kids to the YMCA, you're going to have to sign them in. Tonight, 24 Hour News 8 uncovering the reasons for the change in policy, and it all stems from a fight. Joe Lafergie is in studio with the details. Yeah, Brian Marley, the changes are important because this is an organization that serves over 184,000 people, many of them young people, right here in the Grand Rapids area. But if you're 17 or under, an adult will now have to sign you in. This policy change coming after a scuffle in the downtown Y lobby. It was January 31st. According to this GRPD report, two callers told dispatchers there was a large group in the lobby fighting and hitting each other with chairs. The fight was over by the time officers arrived. No arrests were made. Members got the notice on February 16th. Teenagers under the age of 17 can still use the Y, but any guest age 17 and under will need the adult Y member present at the member service desk to sign that guest pass form. A parent of any 17-year-old or under member will need to be present at the member service desk to sign the guest pass form. All guests will have their photos taken for identification purposes. What does the Y have to say about all this? We had lined up an on-camera interview with an official here at the Y, but when we arrived, we found that person was no longer available. They did release a statement saying, our recent policy change at the David D. Hunting YMCA is a demonstration of our ongoing commitment to providing the best experience to members, guests, and participants of the Y. An official denied the January 27th incident was a direct result of that review saying the large number of young people using the Y during the extreme weather was also a factor. There have been problems here at the Y in the past. In 2009, two people were shot in the parking lot outside the Y after a dispute that started in the building. But Grand Rapids Police ran down the numbers of times officers were called to the Y during a nine-month period last year. There were a total of nine service calls to the Y between February and November of 2013. Not a large number for a facility that hosts a large number of people, according to the GRPD. Officials deny those uh, that charge of any chairs being thrown in the January 27th incident. If you want to read their statement, just go to woodtv.com.